beautiful day. <laughs> oh, oh, this looks like Theo's old typewriter. <laughs> I wonder what it's doing out here. Look, someone typed a note and left it here. <gasps> Let's see. <gasps> Dear Mom, would you please read that book about the cows and the typewriter? <laughs> Love and kisses and hugs. Leona Leona and Leona. Leona. Oh, yeah. Read it, Mom. Read, read it, read it, read it. Read it. Of course I will, Cubs, uh, but I don't know where the book is. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta now you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <gasps> Click, clack, moo. Ooh. Cows that type by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. She's good. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type, impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, <laughs> cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. The next day, Farmer Brown got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, click, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. The end.
see. Cat. Cattle. Corn. Car. If you can read C A R car, then you can read card and carp and carpet too. And you can read car. Beginning is a great big clue, and as long as you check out the ending too, you can read lots of words with C A R at their start. Carp, 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 the carp, carp. You can read lots of words with C A R at their start. C A R, car. Here are some words that begin with the C sound in the letter C. Cookie. Cool. Carrot. Corn. Cornflakes. C. It's a plan. It's a plane. It's Silent E Man. These vowels have a problem, and Silent E's to blame. Instead of a, 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 he makes them say their name. He's changed the sounds to A and E and I and O and U. With pals like that, just think about what damage he can do. Silent E. Change this cub into a cube, silent E. He changed his tub into a tube. He changed his twin to twine. He changed his can into a cane. Then this great man must stop him before he strikes again. Silent E, your vowel sound changing days are over. I'm carting you off to the slammer. But of course, you have the right to remain silent. Look, a note from Silent E, it says... I love that cap you're wearing. I'd love to have a closer look. Gee, thanks so much for sharing. Well, sure. Oh, I don't see any harm in that. Oh, yeah. Silent E. He changed that cap into a cape. Silent E. He's making his escape. Silent E. Our stories have a true. He's flying out the window and there's nothing we can do. Well, Silent E, you may have slipped out of my grasp this time, but mark my words, I'll get you yet! <laughs> K-oo, k-oo, ko, ko, ko. Ock, ock, ko, ock. Clock, clock, clock. There once was a careless young clam who forgot to look out where he swam. A big wave from the sea made as WD. And washed the clam over the dam. Oh yeah, it washed the clam over the dam. And now it's time for Gwen's word. Gwen's word. <laughs> Excellent. Gwen here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir. <laughs> <laughs> and on this side, Sir I. <laughs> Blend on, dudes. Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, try not to cry, because we'll see you next time on Gawain's Word, Gawain's Word. And now it's time for those magnificent monkey cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, ready? OK. C-R-Y, cry. You just spelled cry, cry, C-R-Y. It brings a teardrop to my eye. Cry.
There's another note in the typewriter. <laughs> Dear Lionel and Leona, uh -huh. I wonder if there's another book that has cows and hens in it. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, a cow. Wow. Huh. I wonder if there is. Hmm. Glad you asked. The information hen has the book you need. Now, let's see. Where is it? Farms, farm life, farm times, farm news, farm update. Oh, here it is. It's a pig's world. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 48, Pig and Her Farm Animal Friends. There are lots of animals on Pig's farm. There's Pig and her piglet. Oi, oi, oi. There's Hen and her chick. <laughs> There's Cow and her calf. There's Duck and her egg. Uh... Where's the egg? The end. <laughs> Not to worry. No damage to the animated hen. So there is another book with cows and hens in it. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Hold it. There may be a book with cows and hens in it. But there are no cows on this roof. No. Well, who wrote this note in the typewriter? Moo. And now, get ready for another story about animals that live on a farm. E-I-E-I-O, cha-cha-cha. The Little, the little red, red Hen. hen. <laughs> That's a goodness dear, it's Brown wins the soup. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon. And now, Theo, Cleo, Lionel, and our darling little Leona will read from the beloved children's classic of literature, The Little Red Hen. Theo? Hmm? The book, please. The book? Oh, the book! The book! Right, the book, okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, Theo, mm. may I have it, please? Oh, of course, of course, sweetheart. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> yeah. The Little Red Hen by Mel Helper. <laughs> there once was a little red hen who lived on a farm. The hen's friends were a little black dog, a big orange cat, and a little yellow goose. One day, the red hen found some grains of wheat. <laughs> the little red hen asked, Who will help me plant the wheat? Not I, said the little black dog. Not I, said the big orange cat. Not I, said the little yellow goose. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she planted the wheat without any help at all. <laughs> the little red hen asked, Park, who will help me cut the wheat? Not I, said the little black dog. Not I, said the big orange cat. Not I, said the little yellow goose. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she cut the wheat without any help at all. Who will help me take the wheat to the mill and grind it into flour, asked the little red hen. Not I. <laughs> Daddy? Yes, sweetheart. 
Oh, uh, said the little black dog. Not I. Daddy. Um, said the big orange cat. Not I. <laughs> Daddy? Y you want me again to... Oh, yeah, uh, uh, said the little yellow goose. <laughs> then I will do it myself. Daddy? Said the little red hen. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So she took the wheat to the mill and ground it into flour without any help at all. Okay, who will help me bake the bread? Gasped the little red, very, very tired hen. <sighs> Not I, said the little black dog. Not I said the big orange cat. Not I. Said the little yellow goose. Ah, then I will do it myself, said the little red, very, very, very tired hen. And she baked the bread without any help at all. The hot, fresh bread smelled very good. Now, who will help me eat this bread? Asked the little red hen. I will, said the little black dog. I will, said the big orange cat. I will, said the little yellow goose. No, you won't. I will do it myself, yelled the little red hen. And she ate the bread without any help at all. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Good <Yes>. one, Daddy. You. <laughs> 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 Time for... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! <laughs> Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have, sir... <gasps> word for today, and this is Gawain saying, I hope to whoop it up with you real soon. <laughs> See you next time on Gawain's Word. And now, Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. Oh, stop, stop. All I ever do is stop. Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Wertheimer with another word that's tired of being what it is. And once to change. Isn't that right? Oh, you bet I want to change. I want a little excitement in my life. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> of course not. But your problem is the letters S and T. They are what's making you perfectly good up stop. So let go of that S and that T. Oh, now I feel so meaningless. <laughs> Relax. Dr. Ruth will give you meaning by adding the letter H. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, there's no stopping me now. Thank you, Dr. Ruth. Hop, hop, hop. You're welcome. Ooh, I'm good. And now, singer-songwriter and recording artist Mr. Brian McKnight 
and the incomparable Ms. Cleo Lyon with a song about a very unusual H word. Homophones. I read this book. It's red. Come look. A book about a special love. Homophones. Right here you'll hear two words that sound This is the announcer bunny saying, this is the announcer bunny saying, now watch this. And now Theo wonders if there's another book that has hens and other farm animals in it. Moo. Theo? Theo? What? 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 Oh! I wonder if there is another book that has hens and other farm animals in it. Oh, this is not my day. Glad you asked. The information hen has the book you need. Now, let's see. Where is it? Farms, farm life, farm times, farm news, farm update. Oh, here it is. It's a pig's world. <laughs> Chapter 48. Pig and her farm animal friends. There are lots of animals on Pig's farm. There's Pig and her piglet. Hi, hi, hi. There's Hen and her chick. <laughs> There's Cow and her calf. There's Duck and her egg. Uh, where's the egg? The end. Not to worry! No damage to the animated hen! No, of course, Jack and that candlestick business. <sighs> Nasty burn. So, in summary, we're going to show your appreciation for the divine Theo, Cleo, Lionel, and our darling little Leona. Fantastic. Guys! Guys, what? The, the, the bow, what? the bow. Oh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Boys. Yeah, well done. Well done. Well done. Yes, well done. Indeed. Pip, pip, and all that. Mm. Hi, Information Hen here. Visit the Between the Lions website for lots of fun games, exciting stories, catchy songs, and things to print. Plus, great resources for parents, teachers, and information hens. pbskids.org. 
Get a child wild about reading and you get a child wild about learning. Be a designated reader. <laughs> wow, that's me getting wild about learning. Wow, <laughs> that's me getting wild about reading. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Once upon a time.